How's it going, everyone? I'm Tony. And I'm Adam, and we both work at the Drum Center of Portsmouth, the largest independently owned drum store in the world. All of the bizarre items you are about to see in this video are for sale, and you can find those links in the description below. Today we're talking about some of the most unusual items we carry here at the Drum Center. And the idea for this video came about from a small display kit that we have set up in the corner of our showroom floor. It's a little Canopus RFM kit with some really funky cymbals and other percussion type items around it. And every day I walk by this kit and I look at it and I think, I wonder what these things actually sound like. So here we are today. The purpose of this video is to experience some of these unique items and allow you the opportunity to hear them and see if there's anything that speaks to you or that you think you might want to add to your personal setup and enhance your playing. The symbols we picked out for this video are appropriately unusual as well. For the ride symbol, we went with Zildjian's FX Raw Crash Large Bell. And for the hi-hats, we opted for the 13-inch Istanbul Dry Dark Exists. I really like these. They're super fun. As unique as most of the items are in this video, the drums are not crazy. They're just awesome. And we have a set of DW Performance Series drums here, just the 22 and 16-inch floor tom and the American Rust hard satin finish. And then this is a exquisite snare drum and it's a one ply elm from Canopus. I think we only received two of these and it's, uh, it's amazing. If you enjoy these types of videos, why not subscribe to our YouTube channel? It's a great way to stay informed on all things drums and an equally great way to support our independently owned drum shop. Is that me? Oh, it's tender. Nice. <laughs>
Well, that was strange. Tony, what were some of the standout items for you? So, you know, I'm a, a bit of a standard two and four drummer, so a lot of times uh, stranger things don't really speak to me. However, there were a couple of things in here that were really fun. I love the Minel Backbeat Tambo. I really like things that add like a bit of a white noise type effect to the snare drum backbeat sound. That was a lot of fun. I also, I'll give a mention to the, the Junk Hats for being something totally unique and, you know, their own voice. Um, I personally don't have a, a spot for that in my playing currently. However, it's really cool and valid. I would also give uh, a little bit of a shout out to the stank foot, but not in the traditional sense of using it, but using it on the snare drum. Kind of similar to the Minel Backbeat Tambo. I love how the chains reacted to the snare drum and gave it this more like airy, interesting white noise effect and it was really fun. What about you? Thanks for asking. <laughs> uh, I really liked the Keplinger shaker mm. thing. Yeah. I thought it was unusual that Keplinger makes these really no frills industrial-like snare drums that are just no-nonsense, heavy-duty, and now we have these little dainty shaker bells. Yeah. But the way they brought out the character of the Zildjian Raw Crash, I thought was really cool. So I could see a use for something like that. Yeah. And I think my favorite item, if not for the novelty alone, is the Canopus KM1 key muffler system. So besides being unusual with the fact that they're just a bunch of brass keys, on a keychain with a magnet that you attach to the snare drum, I thought that they actually brought out some really cool characteristics that a snare mute or muffle alone wouldn't do by themselves. I thought the keys actually added some cool texture to the sound. Agreed. And they were produced in collaboration with Takashi Kashikuri. First try. Nice. Thank you. And you know, if he likes them, they have to be good. So that does it. If you liked anything you saw in this video, please remember that those links are in the description below. And please also remember to subscribe, like, hit the bell, all that good stuff so that you get notified when we make videos like this and it helps us produce more and more of them. Thanks again for watching. Thanks a lot.